Hi there and welcome back to the Get Rid of Your Biz workshop. This week we're going to talk about outsourcing paid traffic tactics. Um, there's a lot of paid tra traffic tactics that you can use. Um, this is just a few of them. So we're going to talk about these this week and how you can outsource them. So the first thing here, affiliate program. If you have an affiliate program um, that promotes your products and services and stuff, you're going to be way ahead of the game. But it takes a lot to manage these affiliate programs. So is what I recommend you do is you outsource somebody creating basically an affiliate hub for you. That's basically a site that you know lists all of your products. If you go to trainyouraffiliates.com, you can see my affiliate hub. It has a list of all your products, what commissions they pay, and how to get your affiliate links. Okay, there'd be a headline here at the top. Like I said, trainyouraffiliates.com and you can look at mine. So you can outsource having someone build this for you. And then you can also outsource um, getting affiliates. Okay, so let's say each one of these are all the different affiliates out there. So you could pay your outsourcer to create like a uh, spreadsheet file. And on the spreadsheet file, they can start collecting all these names. It is what you can do is once they get all the names collected, you can look at it and say, okay, do not contact this person. Do not contact this person. And just leave the people that you actually want them to contact. So they can go out and they can contact all these people to get them to promote your product for you. This is going to save you a lot of time and make you a lot of money, okay? So having someone come in and help you set up an affiliate program and get affiliates to actually promote for you is hands down the best paid traffic tactic out there. It, it's a paid traffic tactic because you actually have to um, pay for your affiliate program and pay for it to be set up and all that stuff, okay? Banner advertising, same thing with the um, spreadsheet. Have your outsourcer go out and find tons of sites um, within your niche and tell them to make sure that you can buy advertising on it. Have them send the spreadsheet over to you and you can see which ones you want to use. Solo ads, same thing. You have them create a spreadsheet. Find all the places you can do solo ad advertising in. Ad swaps, same thing. Have them create a spreadsheet and find out which um, uh, places that you can do ad swaps with. They could totally manage this for you. They could say, okay, if you'll promote this, then Liz will promote this for you. Give them some guidelines, you know, tell them, you know, that you won't uh, promote anything that, um, you know, is, is, you know, explicit content or sexually related or any of, you know, some, whatever your morals are. Tell them, you know, look, I don't promote this kind of stuff because. You can also have them send you the spreadsheet weekly and okay which um, places you will do an ad swap with. And you can even give them your autoresponder login and have them take the ad that the person sends and send it out to your list and everything. You can totally outsource that. Website advertising. Again, back with a spreadsheet. Have them create a spreadsheet with all the different websites that are in your niche that you're able to advertise on. Have them contact um, sites even if they don't see like an advertise here thing and contact them and ask them if they can advertise. Then they can send you the spreadsheet and you know how you can advertise with them, give them you know, links, prices, everything you need, and um, you can take that spreadsheet and do all the website advertising out there. A little tip when showing people how, when getting people to do um, these traffic tactics for you. Do like a video, like I'm doing here, um, but do like a, a screencast video. If you go to jing.com, that's J-I-N-G.com, you can actually do um, screen videos, screencast videos, and you can send them the video showing them exactly what you want them to do. So there's all kinds of other paid traffic tactics too, and you need to outsource those. All right, so is what you need to do now, is as you've been going through this, you should have been writing down things that you want to outsource. You should have a list of all the different things you want to outsource, okay? So let's say um, this one, I just put this to look like writing, but let's say one thing is blogging. You're gonna have someone come in and do all the blogging for you. Um, customer support, okay? Um, you can also do having people, or having somebody come in and create a squeeze page for you. You have to excuse my writing, I don't do good with the mouse. <laughs> and then, you know, just keep going and making this list. Then is what you need to do is just start with the first thing on your list. Go find someone to outsource this. You should have a goal of outsourcing at least two things a week off your list, okay? 
Um, yes, it's going to take money, but if you'll quit buying this product and that product and actually save that money and use it on outsourcing your business, you're going to find yourself making a lot more money and having a lot more time to spend that money because you're not going to be spending as much time in your business, okay? Um, is what I do, back to that whole spreadsheet thing, is I have a spreadsheet. And within that spreadsheet, I have a column for tasks. what outsourcer is working on it. So I'm just gonna put out there, that outsourcer. And then I have a notes section. So each day I get up and go, okay, who is on this? So the task is, let's say to build a squeeze page. And let's say Sarah is on this. My notes are, you know, I haven't heard from her in two days, so I need to <clears throat> get with her and make sure she's doing what she's supposed to. And then maybe, you know, another task here is a backlink campaign and let's say James is working on this and my notes are um, has 25 of 100 you know backlinks out there already and then he will send me you know um, a list of all the backlinks where he's putting them and I'll check them and then just on and on and on for every little project you have you can do this all via a spreadsheet okay just whatever you do make sure you take from what you've learned here and you're actually implementing it so you can spend a lot less time on your business. I hope this has helped you. Um, getting started with outsourcing can be scary, uh, but if you just dive in and do it, you'll find that um, even if you don't know what to say to people to get them to do the work for you, they'll be able to ask you the right questions to pull it out of you. And eventually you'll become an absolute expert at outsourcing everything in your business. I wish you much success.